sometimes when you're applying for admission you can apply to a school you pay a lot of money for acceptance fee and still that school reject you I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my head I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind, my mind, my mind Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. If this is the first time that you're joining, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the universities with the highest acceptance rates. Okay, so some of you, the one question that you guys keep asking is, oh my, please, I cannot find a university that is in my field, that is in my course. And for me, I can't understand because sometimes when you are applying for um, maybe scholarship opportunities or you're just applying to schools abroad the one thing that you won't always think about is the school that you're applying to especially the school that give you acceptance rate sometimes when you're applying for admission you can apply to a school you pay a lot of money for acceptance fee and still that school reject you for those of you that know a lot of schools abroad do that like when you're applying for application you're applying with application fee and the school will still reject you. So it, it, a lot of times people don't like that. So I think this is even one of the things that discourage a lot of people to even apply for school, to apply, to be honest. This whole thing of applying and then they will reject you. I remember when I was doing my application to China and the one thing that I'm so grateful for is that I did not have to pay application fee. I didn't pay a dime. And then people will be like, Oh my, how come? How come you not pay anything? See, I don't even know why I did not pay anything. I would just say maybe it's just grace or there was just something about the school that they felt those of you that got um type A kind of scholarship, they're not gonna get um, application fee for you guys because when I came to the school and I spoke to some of my, some of my friends and I asked them how fun now with the application did you pay application fee in short I didn't even ask them it was just one time when they were just like just telling me about how they did the application or how stressful it was how they had to pay application fee and still had to send their documents into school you know I'm like really you did all that that's the truth. I didn't even do I didn't even do all those things. I didn't even send my documents in school. But there are some people even after they did all these things, they open application fee, send documents to school, everything they would do and get rejected. <laughs> so you don't want to just be part of the people that will do all the stress, all the stress, and then you still be rejected. So that's why in this video I want to talk about those schools that I feel like if you apply to them because of the way that they're always requesting for internationals, because you need to know that some schools, it's not that they're requesting for internationals. Some schools, they like their life to be top notch. And because of that, that's why they want more international. But for the Chinese now, if let's say the Chinese was applying to the school, they might not be able to get it. It might be really hard for them. Let's say, for example, my school now. I remember when I was even doing my language because I did one year language before I started my major. And one of my teachers was actually saying that our school is really hard for the Chinese people to get admission into our school. And my mom was like, really? Yeah, she said, yes. It is really, really hard for Chinese students to get admission into our school. But you see, for internationals, it may, it may not be that competitive for internationals, you know. But a lot of Chinese people, it is competitive for them. So now, let's say, for example, if you want to actually apply for the school, you want to consider your field, you want to consider your course. So some of you that are doing medicine, pharmacy, all these kind of courses, now you want to think about it when you're doing your application. One thing I did when I was doing my application was that I wasn't even like, concern about acceptance rates because i just knew that okay i had gotten the scholarship so all i was concerned about is getting a good school i remember just going on google and i just said oh top universities in china because for me that was just what was important of getting the best school right so i just went online i was just like top university in china and then i got some 
universities as of then while i was doing my application you can apply to like three schools and then maybe one of the school will now select you but right now you can only choose one school you can only apply to one school is it fair it's not fair because at least then you have a lot of choices you know but now you can only choose one school so i remember just going on google and i was like okay top universities in china and then I saw my school, I saw two other universities, and I actually chose those um, universities. And I, my school was not even the first choice. I remember, like, my school was not the first choice. I think my school was kind of the second choice or the third choice, but I got my school. And then the beautiful thing was that I did not even have to pay application fee because that's just the thing that I was not even... <laughs> I did not want to pay the application fee because how about I have the money? I did that, eh? <laughs> so that's the thing. So I'm going to be listing out some of the universities for my research that I feel like that that are just um, the top schools when it comes to your field. And then if I finish listing all these universities, and let's say now you you did not see your your course. <laughs> You don't check, check, check the university. You do not see your course. What I'm going to do to really, really help you is that I'm going to leave a link down in this um, video. In that link, it, you just go and check for other universities. So with this link now, it just make everything easy for you. All the universities in China, uh, maybe now the province or the state or something that you want to go, if it's Beijing, if it's Shanghai, I'll just list it down there so that you just do the application yourself and it will be like easy for you, you know. So that's what I'm going to do. For those of you that are like, you know what, I cannot, I cannot find my course. Because a lot of people, especially those of you doing pharmacy, and I'm like, I'm like why, like, why can't you find your course? Even me that I'm, I'm even telling you guys the school, I was seeing your, your own field that you, you are saying you cannot find your course. So I could not understand why a lot of people are saying they cannot find your course. So I, I shall say, okay, you know what? Let me come again and do this video. So top universities with the highest acceptance rates. Let's start with number one, which is the Nanting University. The Nanting University has 90% acceptance rate for international students i told you guys that for the chinese it might actually be hard for them but you see now for the internationals they accept 90 percent of you guys so that's one of the reasons that i feel like this school is very good and it was actually founded in 1902 and it ranked 114 you know with over 36,500 students and then 2,200 faculty members. So you see that this school, just because it's, it's collecting 90%, does not mean that, that it is a small school. It is a big school. So you can actually try and apply to this university. Check check your courses. If you feel like any of your course is in this university, you can apply to it. But remember that while you're doing your CSE scholarship application, you can only choose one university, okay? So let's go to the number two university, which is the University of Science and Technology, China. You see now, as I'm listing this, you know, starting from the top highest acceptance rates to the least highest acceptance rates, there's a reason, okay? So just stick with me, okay? So this school was founded in 1958. 1958, it has the highest acceptance rate of 85%. University of Science and Technology, China. My school is actually University of Science and Technology, Beijing, right? And the funny thing is, any time I go online to search for my school, I don't usually see it. Like, I don't know why. But let me just say, my school, so I think my school has highest acceptance rate for international students, you know. So, yeah, you can, if you want to apply to my school, fine. But if University of Science and Technology of China has 85%, you know, acceptance rate for international students. And it's home to China's first graduate school. What? China's what first graduate school? So you know there are some schools in China that they are considered as the first graduate school. So like this is just home to China's first graduate school. So let's go to the next. This is number three, and that is Wuhan University. Okay, Wuhan University has acceptance rate of eighty percent acceptance rates. Do you guys hear what I just said? 
eighty percent acceptance rate, and it is it is growing enormously in prestige and number since eighteen ninety three. It is growing enormously in prestige and numbers since eighteen ninety three. Over five thousand one hundred square meters, and accommodate fifty eight thousand seven hundred students. What? 58,000. So if you're thinking of coming to this school, that's something you have to think about and take note of, okay? Wuhan University. Wuhan University is very, very popular. Let me tell you guys, Wuhan University is very, very popular in China and it's a university that you can actually think of coming to, okay? So let's go to number four, which is the Northwestern Polytechnic University. Some of you will be like, mm, oh my, I don't know if I want to apply to a polytechnic university. But see, let me tell you, let me tell you, do not look down on any university, okay? After all, some of you guys are messaging me that you want to come to China. Some of you just want to travel abroad. You're not literally applying because you are thinking of the school. But if you are thinking of the school now, you're like, oh, okay, I'm thinking of the school now. I want to read. I want to study. Just go for top university. Don't even stress yourself about looking for university that have highest acceptance rates. Anyway. There are still really good schools that have high acceptance rate for internationals. But if you are going for the top top, go for the top top, okay? Um, among its accomplishments, it includes being one of the first university to establish a national university science and technology park, as well as hosting the Northwest Institute of Industrial Technology and the nation's cutting edge on man aerial vehicle. R and D base. So you can see these are the accomplishments that this university have actually gotten. Okay. And that is why I feel like you can actually go for this school. The next university is South China Normal University. The South China Normal University have acceptance rate of 80% acceptance rates. 80% guys, 80% acceptance rate. The South China Normal University was established in 1933 and has expanded into a teaching oriented research university in Guangzhou. So this university is in Guangzhou and it caters to over 36,200 students. Okay. Cut us to over 36,200 students. A lot of people like to go to Guangzhou. A lot of people like to go to Guangzhou because Guangzhou is that city where a lot of business activity is going on. Yes, that is one of the reasons a lot of people like to go to that unit and to go to that place. I remember one of my friends that actually applied to Guangzhou, but he did not even get it. He was applying to just one school. I remember that you can choose three universities and he chose one school three times. That's how much he wanted to go to Guangzhou. And how much he wanted to go to that school but he did not get it you know so yeah that's something that you have to think about Guangzhou those of you don't want to go to Guangzhou those of you don't want to go to business in Guangzhou this school is a good school for you another school okay on my list is the Huangzhou University of Science and Technology so the Huangzhou University of Science and Technology have low door this is 36 percent which you don't have to worry about but it's one of the school that i feel like you can also apply to you know the huanjo university of science and technology is a product of major in 2000 between the huanjo institute of technology tonji medical um university wuhan urban construction institute over 55,000 students attend HUST and are comfortable and are comfortably accommodated in its 460 hectare grounds found on the central bank of the Yangtze River. If you don't know Yangtze River, you can do your research. It's one of the popular river in China. It is also one of the universities in China with high acceptance rates okay so even though it has 36 percent acceptance rates according to what I, from my research it has a really high acceptance rate you know because its campus has a greenery coverage of 72 percent you know they call it the university of forests 
and making the campus um so beautiful a lot of people like to go to this university a lot of internationals like to go to this university because it is so beautiful the way they you know they decorated it all green green things it's, it's just nice so a lot of people like to go see it so i'll go to the next university which is the central south university the central south university had acceptance rate of 80 percent okay 80 percent acceptance rates and then in the hunan province it lies one of china's national university and that's the central south university it has what 80 percent acceptance rates okay this university or this school has three grade three grade a class three comprehensive hospital um, the stomatological hospital, affiliate cancer hospital, um, in support of Xiangyang School of Medicine, and CSU also answers the demand of improving China's national economy and modernizing national defense. Okay, so this is something that the school have actually accomplished that you should also think about, especially those of you that are thinking of going for like medical course and something like that. Anything medical, those of you that sent you nothing, those of you that sent me a message that you're not seeing pharmacy course, this is something for you that you can go for. So another university for you is the Xiantian Tone University. Okay, this university is actually popular. Okay, it has acceptance rate of 55%. The Xiantian Tone University is Shansin based comprehensive research institute and a double cl first class um, university it is also a home to the only top medical science school in the northwest region so this is another school you can actually think about for those of you that are looking to go into medical and on all those um medical pharmacy healthcare kind of um, field this is the university that you can actually think about going okay so the next university i'm going to be talking about is the Zhengzhou university <laughs> It has the acceptance rate of 50%. Okay, the most populous university in China is the Zhengzhou University. So, you see, if you say the most what's populous university, that means it has a very high acceptance rate for international students. Okay, they are globally competitive and their globally competitive academic programs include chemistry clinical medicine, material science, engineering, biology, biochemistry, pharmacological, and um, toxicology. So these are some of the courses of field that if you are thinking of going into, especially those of you that do medicine, so some of these courses, I'm, uh, some of these schools that I'm calling now, like you can see that they are actually medical field, okay? So those of you saying you are not seeing your field, you are not seeing your course, I'm calling it now. Nobody should tell me that you're not seeing your field again. Oh. So now I go to the next school, which is the Southeast University. The Southeast University has the acceptance rate of 46%. Okay, 46%. And the Southeast University is established in 1902 and it is known as the very first co ed university in China. Okay, the programs at South is basically is architecture, landscape, engineering courses, urban planning, all this engineering kind of course. If you are someone that you are looking into going all this geology, geography, all these things that are related to land, earth, all this kind of field, you want to actually think of this university, which is the South East University, and it has acceptance rate of 40, 46 okay so let's go to the next university this is the final university this is the Renmin university of china okay it has acceptance rate of 43 percent and it was renamed from north china university in 1950 so that means it was formerly known as north um, china university before now it's known as the Renmin University of China. And you can see that all these universities that I'm just calling that are old, just forget it, they are really good universities because any school that started over like your year in 1950, like this was started 1950, right? Any school like this just know that they have experience. Yes, they have experience. So you have nothing to fear when you're talking about 
or the quality of the education you're going to get from the school because you're sure that this school have experience you have nothing to fear about the quality okay the remy university of china takes the title of being the first modern university um, founded by the republic of china that's the people's republic of china and then the top programs lean heavily towards the humanity and social science so anything that is related to like humanity human social science that kind of thing if you know that that's your field then you want to go for this course you want to go for this course because that's just what they are specialized in social studies social science humanity because obviously was funny by the words people's republic of china you know the people's republic of china it is the first modern university okay first modern university founded by the people's republic of china so guys these are actually like my top universities and i know that there are a lot of other universities online like i said i'm going to leave a link in this video in case you don't like any of this university or you know any of your course in this university you can actually check that link below and with that link you can be able to find not only the field you'll be able to find the province not only that you'll be able to find the course itself and maybe if you want to do with that master's bachelor's phd in this link you'll be able to find author so that's what i'm going to do to assist you for those of you that don't know um the course or they maybe you don't even know the course you want to do some people don't know the course they want to do so in this link now there's so many courses you can check the only thing is that it's a lot of work guys imagine all the courses in china it's a lot but with this link it just helps you just simplify it for you so that way you will not be that stressed when it comes to looking for your field and your course in china if you enjoyed this video which i know you did give this video a thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in my next video till next time bye